Okay, so let's have this problem. So to find the six circular functions, then we have this problem. So let's sign theta equals negative 1 over 3. And theta is in quadrant 4. Then find the five circular functions of theta. So to solve for this problem using the six circular functions, then from the given, we have sine theta and sine theta is equal to y over r. And in the given, sine theta is equal to negative 1 over 3. So therefore, we have the value for y and the value for r. Then since r is the radius and r always positive so from this given y is negative 1 and r is positive 3 then to solve for x because x is the unknown using this formula that x squared equals r squared minus y squared so substitute now the values to solve for x so we have r that's positive 3 to the power 2 minus y negative 1 to the power 2. Then simplify. So this 3 to the power 2, that's 9, minus negative 1 to the power 2, that's positive 1. So x squared equals 9 minus 1, that's 8. Then to solve for x, so take the square root cancel so therefore x is equal to positive and negative square root of 8 so to find now the exact value for x since in the problem theta is in quadrant 4 and in a plane this is quadrant 4 so in quadrant 4 y is negative and x is positive, so therefore x is positive square root of 8. But since we can simplify this square root of 8, because square root of 8 is equal to square root of 4 times square root of 2, so therefore x is equal to square root of 4, that's 2, square root of 2. So this is now the value for x. Then since we have now all the three values, x, y, and r, so we can find now the remaining five circular functions of theta. So using this formula, so to find now the remaining five circular functions, so we have cosine theta and cosine theta, that's x over r. So x is 2, square root of 2 over r. r is 3. So this is now for cosine theta. Then for tangent theta, so tangent theta, that's y over x. y is negative 1 over x is 2, square root of 2. But we need to rationalize because the denominator contains a radical. So just multiply both sides by square root of 2. So this becomes multiply. It's negative 1 square root of 2 then over 2 times. So just omit the radical on 2. So 2 times 2. So the final answer that's square root of 2 over 4. So this one for tangent theta, then for cotangent theta, so cotangent theta, x over y, x is 2 square root of 2 over y, y is negative 1. Then to simplify, because we have this one for the denominator, so we can rewrite this one as negative 2 square root of 2.
10 for second theta. So second theta, that's r over x. r is 3. Then x, that's 2 square root of 2. Then we need to rationalize. So multiply both sides by square root of 2. So this becomes 3 square root of 2. Then over 2 times, omit the radical. So 2 times 2. So we have 3 square root of 2, then over 4. Then the last one, the cosecant theta. So that's r over y. So r is 3 and y is negative 1. And we can rewrite this one as negative 3. So these are the 5 circular functions of theta.